The hefty projected costs of the Founders Memorial in NS Square has raised critical questions on the use of taxpayer dollars among Singaporeans online. Concerns erupted in the hours after the groundbreaking ceremony of the Founders Memorial took place on Wednesday, June 5. The memorial, which is designed to commemorate the founding fathers of Singapore, as well as cover the country's history from after World War II to its first few decades of independence, has begun construction and it is slated to open its doors to the public in 2028. The Memorial Gardens by the Base Bay East Garden will consist of two connected two-story buildings that will also function as a viewing gallery that overlooks Singapore's city skyline. Alongside having an amphitheatre, exhibition galleries, and multipurpose rooms for workshops and programmes. It has since come to light that the memorial will cost a whopping $235. $660,000 to construct. The information was exposed online by Reddit user Shimani Wimani, who cited publicly available data at the Building Construction Authority's online database for March 2024. Hours later, another Redditor Potutito underscore tractor cited the same BCA database to reveal that the upcoming NS Square costs more than double the cost of the Founders Memorial at more than $599 million. NS Square is an upcoming outdoor multipurpose venue meant to replace the float at Marina Bay. Construction of NS Square, which will house a 30,000-seat grandstand, a national service-themed gallery, community sports facilities and a public waterfront promenade began this March and the project is scheduled to be completed in 2027. The cost projections, as per BCA's database, has stirred discontent on social media. With many asking if these expensive developments are truly a wise use of taxpayer funds. Many pointed to the recent goods and services tax GST hike and questioned if the hike was implemented to fund such opulent structures instead of being used in a way that may better benefit ordinary Singaporeans. Some also pointed to founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew's aversion to monuments as cast outs on the need for a founder's memorial. In response to events organized to commemorate Mr. Lee's first death anniversary in 2016, his only daughter, Dr. Lee Wei Ling, said he would have cringed at the hero worship. In a Facebook post, she added, In looking at acts of commemoration, in general, I would ask how the time, effort, and resources used to prepare these would benefit Singapore and Singaporeans. Mr. Lee, Kuan Yu's eldest son, Lee Shin Long, who transitioned from Prime Minister to Senior Minister just last month, agreed in 2016 that their father made it very clear throughout his life that he did not need and did not want any monument. Mr. Lee Shin Long, however, mooted the idea of the Founders Memorial to commemorate not just his father but the team that led Singapore forward. He said, in 2016, indeed, Mr. Lee himself had thought that there was value in such a memorial. Asserting that such a memorial need not be a grand structure, Mr. Lee Shin Long said the development must stand for the ideals and values of Singaporeans. Mr. Lee said, at the groundbreaking ceremony this week, I hope this Founders Memorial will become a space where Singaporeans reflect on our ongoing nation-building journey, appreciate our precious inheritance from the founding generation, and resolve to continue building a harmonious and successful Singapore based on our foundational values and ideals for generations to come. Interestingly, mainstream media outlets, which covered Mr. Lee's comments as well as the plans for the memorial, right down to what sort of flowers would be available there, did not include information on how much the project would cost.